Welcome to the International Code Space Online iCool Challenge at Virtual RoboCop 2020, friendlies. Before we begin, let's do a brief introduction of Code Space GP Challenge. Automation of routine tasks is currently a concept that interests many industries. Among the most revolutionary parts of it are autonomous vehicles. These are visions of the future of city infrastructure. The main ideas they all share are self-driving cars and shared mobility. Those are set to revolutionize the ways we navigate through cities. In Cospace GP Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. For the iQOO Challenge at Virtual RoboCup 2020, Participants need to program an autonomous car to navigate in a smart city. The autonomous car needs to pass multiple waypoints before reaching its final destination in the U19 category. The robot has an IR sensor array, an ultrasonic sensor, a RGB color sensor, and a gyroscope. It must stop at each waypoint for two seconds with LED flashing and then move away from the station autonomously. Throughout the Cospace GP challenge, participants will use different AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning to accomplish the task. The winner of the challenge will be the robot to pass all waypoints with the shortest time. from Singapore participating in Cold Space Grand Prix Challenge Uniting Category. Some of the strategies I Some of the strategies I used in programming my robot include both soft and hard coding. Inline tracking, turning when facing the wall or detecting certain colors, U-turns and stopping at pit stations, I used soft coding, where I create functions that we call upon to carry out actions when certain conditions are met. This is especially useful for actions that need to be used repeatedly. As my road included some shortcuts that do not provide any sensor inputs for my robot, I used hard coding. To achieve the optimal output, I did multiple runs and measurements. Through this process of trial and errors, I was able to obtain some values for me to use directly in the code and let the robot run a designated route without sensor input. I put my first all-nighter in my life because of code space. My brain was completely in a dreamy state at the end of the preliminary round, but when I look back, the experience was really enriching. In preparation for code space, I tried out all the practice maps. The first two maps are manageable. However, when it came to the more difficult maps, I encountered problems sometimes. Even when I followed the tutorials, step by step. I started considering more possible scenarios and tracking the values in debug to adjust conditions or add on more statements such as color range and more cases for line track. These changes made me realize that what works in theory will always need to adapt to fit the physical environment and I must consider many other factors to make sure that the car not just runs but runs consistently. In the process of improving the programs from the tutorials, I began to value understanding the codes instead of copying. As only through understanding, I can modify and utilize them to create better programs. To challenge myself further, I attempted coding in C and implementing proportional integral derivative control online tracking part of the robot. I never truly understood or coded PID before, 
but code space give me the chance to grasp this concept firmly. I succeeded in creating my own working PID. Even though I didn't get to use it in the preliminary round due to instability of high speed, the experience of learning it is rewarding beyond what I can imagine. It taught me to be resourceful, search for answers on different engineering websites and ask a mentor. It taught me to have perseverance, debugging again and again to make sure the code will run smoothly. It taught me patience. The best values can only be obtained after a tedious process of tuning the PID. In addition to technical skills, I also learned the importance of communicating and sharing ideas with my fellow participants. As we shared, we improved faster, we solved problems for each other, we rejoiced in progress together. We failed many times, but each time, we encourage each other to go on. During the 24 hours preliminary round, I was too fixated on speed and insisted on choosing shortcuts and higher base speeds for the wheels. This led to a fast speed, but relatively higher inconsistency. Do I regret my choice of prioritizing speed and focus too little on consistency? To be honest, a little. But I believe that this failure will be a stepping stone for me to do better in the projects in the future. Lastly, I just want to say a big thank you to the organizers who gave me this chance to learn and explore during this difficult period of COVID-19. Thank you. And we're off. The robot has left the starting point. And we have passed our first waypoint. Wonderful path planning. Second waypoint. Keep going. Third waypoint. Nice U-turn! So much time saved! Wonderful path planning! Fifth waypoint! Nice U-turn! Wonderful path planning! Keep going! Fifth waypoint! Six waypoint. Nice U turn. Wonderful path planning. Awesome. Great turn. Seventh waypoint. Awesome. Wonderful path planning. Great shortcut. Keep going! Nice U-turn! Last waypoint, almost there! Keep going! And we have crossed the finish line! Great job! Congratulations! Challenge completed!